Yes, we are back, back again in Fernbus, uh, somewhere we haven't been for a very, very long time. Uh, back again, this time to look at a new map. The upcoming release, not released as I'm streaming this, uh, Poland. Yes, venturing into a whole new, or well, country, I think they're called. The bit to the right of the, the Germany place, you know, the bit over there, the bit that's the, the Poland, where the Tonys come from. For those that have been around for a while. Uh, so we're going to have a look. I've not driven in it myself. We're going to try a new coach to me as well. The Comfort Class uh, DD thing. Um, if you are watching this on the YouTubes. Uh, this going out on Fernbus Friday. I know. It's been a long time since that happened. Uh, too long in fact. Um, uh, other content from me on other days. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below. Uh, to where you can get this uh, map. Yes, there'll be a link down there to where you can get the coach. So I'm going to drive a link down there to the game. That's many links. That's three of them. Uh, one down there to the Twitch page. That's four. And one down there to a Discord server as well. That's going to be five links. So expect those of YouTube to find about one of them. Because I won't remember that. Um, good evening, by the way, then, to Ethan, uh, Trent, uh, Connor, uh, Liam, and uh, Stokey. Uh, right. So let's click on the starty game thing. Oh, that's gone a bit blurry. There we go. Uh, so, yes, we got this bit over here. Uh, we got Warsaw, which I haven't unlocked any of. Um, so we're going to go and do that. And we're going to start in Berlin uh, because, well, why not? Um, so we're going to go over here. We're going to do the Berlin. Berlin Zob. And we're going to go all the way to Warsaw. Oh, there's three of them. Uh, what's that? Is that the airport? Under That's the airport. Ah, we need to go there. That's good. We've got to pick someone up uh, from Warsaw Airport. Tony apparently is on his way uh, to Warsaw Airport. Uh, so that's where we're going. Berlin to Warsaw. Um, and that's the coach we're going to be using. Uh, the uh, one, the double D, the comfort class uh, thing. Uh, which is uh, new. Well, new for me. It's not a new coach, but new for me. i will probably look around that in a minute. Uh, date. It's a date that I'm streaming slash recording this. Time, we're going to set a bit earlier in the morning. Uh, we'll go for the 8 a.m. Oh, that's a nice bit of moody lighting. Uh, I may as well click on start game. That was well timed, wasn't it? So yes, Tony, apparently, uh, on his way to Warsaw, um, on a plane now, was heading back towards the uh, the coast, then realised that he um, never been to Poland. Right, so here's the coach. It's, that's quite blurry. Uh, it's, it's quite coachy in its, um, in, in, its, in its coachiness, being that it's a coach. I'll take a screenshot. So I'm just Tony arrive in Poland. Well, I hope by the time we get there. Um, all right, let's open this thing up. It is quite coach-like. Uh, have we got a, a rear compartment-y type thing? Oh, we have. They can shove their bags in there. Look at that. As if by magic, the bags appear. All right, let's go and have a look, a look around it before we go anywhere. So what have we got down here? We've got stairs going upstairs, which is useful because you need them if you're going upstairs. Uh, Tabley things down. Oh, that's quite nice. Would you actually want to sit on a coach going backwards? I don't mind sitting on a train going backwards. I don't know if I'd be happy sat on a coach going backwards. So we've got the toilet down here. So if you're sat there, you'd be hearing all sorts of things going on in there. And then another set of stairs. Um, this is where you want to be, didn't you? So you've got no one behind you kicking your seat. Nice little view. But, oh, a bit of a, a sky, sun, the roof thing, the glass roof thing uh, going on uh, up here. Um... Although, you know, you really want to sit here, though, wouldn't you? Cup holders, place to put, I don't know, small animals, uh, leathery type, seaty type things. Let's go back downstairs. Uh, uh, right. So, 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 oh, why am I looking? I'm leaning on the seat. Why would you do that? Oh, there we go. Okay. Right. Oh, no, that's reversed. Don't do that. Uh, right, let's try and work out how to set this thing up then. Oh, we got some buttons down here. So, hill hold thing. 
unlock doors, driver's light on and off, reading lights on. Uh, okay, seeing lights. Uh, driver monitor off, I don't like that. Passenger monitor on. Oh, we've got a drop down screen upstairs. Uh, destination display on, we're going to Warsaw. Uh, air conditioning, have we got an air conditioning on off thing? Yes, we have 18 degrees. Uh, drag to adjust temperature. Oh God, they want 23 degrees. That'd be too warm. Uh, 20 degrees. There we go. Uh, don't worry about all this stuff. Stop break. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Right. So let's go and check in some passengers. Oh yeah, if you're tall, you're you're completely uh, scuppered. Uh, right. That's not your ticket, that's your phone. But okay, we'll go with that. Uh, you're going to Warsaw. We're, okay. I don't know why the express check-in takes two clicks instead of just one, but it doesn't really make much express difference to me. Uh, yeah, see, click it once, click it twice for an express check-in. What? Uh, you're wearing that. Oh, you God, you're wearing three-quarter lengths. Are they three-quarter lengths? Oh, no, they're shorts. Okay, I'll let you off then. I hope you're right here. I'm guessing so. Ciao, indeed. Uh, it's your phone. Passenger's ticket invalid. Well, I wasn't looking, was I? Yeah, I don't care. They wonder why they're arriving at midnight, but you're going to Warsaw. Okay. What about you? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, what about you in the whatever it is you're wearing? Okay. Uh, about you down, d all the way down. You're quite tiny, aren't you? Yeah, that is definitely a ticket. Thanks a lot, no problem. Uh, oh, hello, you. Yeah, that's that's definitely your ticket. Well, it might not be, you might have stolen it. Uh, and you, you want to buy a ticket, don't you? Good day. You didn't say good day, you said good and tag. Uh, but we'll do with the whole, I'll scroll down, no, it's fine, I'll do it. Uh, Warsaw. But sorry, I just started. Um, there we go. I missed someone. No, I didn't. No, we're all good. That person was an idiot. Right. Close that. Uh, two more down here. Let's go upstairs. Okay, hang on. Why is no one sat at the front? Oh god, that's quite close. Next stop, Warsaw. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome aboard this Sims and Stuff Flixbus travel service going to Warsaw. Uh, in the seat back pocket in front of you, you'll find our next of kin card. If you can't fill out the details of your next of kin on that card, we'll know to contact in the event of your untimely death on this journey. If you also like to fill out any usernames, credit card numbers, PIN numbers, passwords, etc., we'll make use of those as well. For your convenience, we have already ticked the Simpsons stuff life insurance box, and whatever you do, don't read the small print. Okay. Uh, that... How... That's... Ri that's... How is anybody supposed to get under that? <laughs> Blimey. That's a bit low, isn't it? Uh, hey man, what's good? Uh... I've heard the burgers are quite good. Uh, right, let's um, let's sit down. That's because it's our one and only stop is why they arrive in departure in the same. Uh, turn on the headlights. Uh, that one. Okay, are we ready? Uh, we're uh, oh no, I've got to do the thing in night. Start ride. We're leaving late as well. Okay. Uh, into gear. Uh, we'll uh, release the parking brake. Uh, we'll indicate, and then we'll do this. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. 
In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kommt? Ups. In unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Well, that's my first time driving it. Kein Problem. Oh my Viele God. Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet oh. und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil buchen wollt, holt euch einfach unsere App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch per E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. And in English. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seatbelts is compulsory on board the bus. Therefore, please keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the entire journey. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our information card containing further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There is a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets, which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app onto your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. My nagas, we are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. Well, that car just drove into me. Uh, that wasn't my fault at all. I was in my lane and that car just came along and went, you know what, I'm going to drive into you. So that's not my fault, is it? Right, so we got 639 of the kilometers to go from uh, Berlin to Warsaw. This thing's got very uh, slow gear change. Ah, uh, it wasn't my fault. Yeah, it's not bad. Typical uh, comfort class quality. I'm not normally a fan of double deckers, but it's all right. As coaches go. You've watched the stream with Tony. Me and Tony have nothing between us. Uh huh. Well, you spent all night. Uh, what's happening with the. Okay, that tanker. That looks interesting. Oh. Dresden is this way. I'm in the wrong lane. Uh, okay. Am I... Oh, no. This road carries on round. Oh, yeah. T Tony's had a bit of a day. He uh, was in a plane crash. Then found himself going the wrong way in Germany. Because uh, took directions off a tourist, and uh, last seen on a flight to Warsaw. Are we going to drive into the sun now? Is that going to be a thing? Oh, hello. 
Why is my announcement in German if I'm driving to Poland? Welcome to Fernbus. Right, let's try and keep my head down a little bit. I could put the, the blind thing down, but hopefully we're not driving into the sun all the time. Or well, I'll put the 18 plus up. It shouldn't be. Hang on. Uh, that. There you go. Wow. Okay, that tanker crashed a bit as well. I see the firm bus AI hasn't improved much. Okay, this thing's doing all right at speed. Steering's a bit vague, but you know you'd expect that from a double deck coach, I suppose. They're not exactly built for handling, are they? Yeah, four hit you yesterday in this. Blimey. Yeah, they, they, they just drive into you. They're not as good as uh, other AI. But it's better than it was. A lot, oh, that's some lag. A lot better than it was. Yeah, I won't bother indicating. I just drive back over there. Why are you braking? Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Okay, we'll ignore that. Well, yeah, the, the check things do seem to be less frequent now. Which is good, because before you were being stopped at every single stop. Uh, I think we've got to stop for a pee at some point. Hang on, it's going to pause the game. It is. We've got to stop for a pee at midday. Okay. Light accident. Well, I didn't oh, I leave my lane. I, I know I'm a rowdy. What's the time? Uh, 8.45. We don't want to stop yet. Uh, that's some places. Okay. Um, Hamburg. Oh, hang on, Warsaw, off here. Oops, bear with me. We're just going to dive off here. Yeah, I knew. It's a shame in this that the um, the the sat nav didn't actually talk to you like it does in other games. This driver's an idiot. Yep. And your point there is what? You would not feel safe on this bus. That's the whole idea. That's why our slogan is, it's a bonus to arrive alive. I don't like those stupid lanes that disappear. See, it's done it again. Why would you do that? Oh, someone's phone's ringing. Well, yeah, we showed him the next to King card at the very beginning. Hopefully we end up driving away from the sun, but we are driving in an easterly direction. And it is early in the morning and it is March, so anything could happen. All right, attempt to get back over there. There we go. Yeah, it is good in a way that they're still producing stuff for Fernbus. I'm saying I've heard the Denmark uh, map wasn't very good because there's only like five places in it or something. I think we got about 15 in Poland. Warsaw being the big one. Yeah, Denmark is tiny.
is my favourite bus simulator? No way. Uh, this isn't a bus sim anyway, it's a coach sim. Uh, and it's the only coach sim for now. Well, OMSI's the only bus sim, really. You can't really call like the likes of Bus Sim 21 and uh, Bus Sim 18, etc. a bus sim, because they're arcade simulators. This is good, and you know, I do like this. It is one of those things, though, that once you've been to every uh, place, once you've unlocked every city, it's then, what do you do? You know, this is definitely crying out for an economy mode like you get in tourist bus. So I don't know how far Berlin is away from the, the Polish border. It needs multiplayer. And let's say multiplayer was discussed when I was doing beta testing for TML a couple of years ago. You know, I think it's always been on the cards. And this is one of those maps that does lend itself for multiplayer. I'm guessing this is the border. Because that is the old border crossing, I would have thought. I don't know why those vehicles parked in there, but... So I would say we're about to enter Poland. Poland, we are. Right, into Poland we go. Well, that was painless. And I was just saying, how far is it away from the border? But not, not very far. Was that about 100 kilometres, 60 miles or so? Yeah, well, that's there because they haven't got the licensing for the coach. And someone at TML could be bothered to create their own logo to put there. So they've just stuck a thing over it. Oh, hello. Okay, we've got a toll. It does look good. Don't forget, there are tolls in France. Yeah, tolls are very mainland Europe. You get those tag things, though, can't you, that means you can go through them generally without stopping. Doesn't seem to be working for the lane that I'm in. Okay. Okay, well, technically you had right of way, but I'm just going to push in a little bit. Yeah, that's definitely broken in that lane, isn't it? That lorry is just like, no. You gotta love the AI in Fernbus.
Come on then. Right. Hopefully there's not a lot of tolls between here and Warsaw. Otherwise we'll be waiting a long time. Okay. Uh, where are you going? This thing's definitely not rapid. And we're 480, 480 kilometers away from Warsaw. Bit of a trek. Oh, it's a transit, isn't it? That transit's going to be a bit quicker than a coach. Well, 120 limit, yeah, but the fact that we're speed restricted to 100. Alright, can we do the overtaking thing? Now the transit slowed down. Come on, transit. Well, I've got to say, Poland looks just like Germany. Scenery, not that you expect when you cross a border, you know, for the scenery to change instantly. But, you know, it just looks exactly the same. No checkpoint yet. No, I think they've reduced the amount of times that you get the police checkpointy things. Which is good, really, because they were getting really infuriating. Hey, I've never been to Germany, I've never been to Poland. Been to Belgium, been to France. Why would Poland be a bit snowy? It's east of Germany. It's not like it's high up. You know, any country is going to get a bit of snow in uh, November, December, January, February, maybe even a bit of March. I want to explain to Nico where Poland is. I think he's probably thinking of Switzerland. The Poles are known for their huskies. Right, 432 kilometres to go. We're certainly uh, whipping through them, as it were. Yeah, the coach is nice and quiet. I like the fact that it is a little bit bouncy. When this first released, you were just like on rails, and then they introduced the whole bouncing of the bounciness. I can't even speak bounciness of the suspension, which makes a bit of a difference. But it does mean that uh, high rock on. It does mean that it now gives you a lot more map to be able to drive in. So you can do some really long routes in this now. You know, you can go from the south of France all the way up into East Poland. Or up into Germany if you really wanted to. Or Denmark if you've got the, the Denmark. Thank you, Michael. 
Yeah, there's another couple of uh, Gospel Oak videos coming out. One tomorrow, um, one Friday. And then the stream, the Tony stream, is going out on the YouTubes on Saturday. I can imagine this is one of those journeys that's probably, there's probably more people... Um, I don't know, Warsaw, I suppose Warsaw is a touristy place, isn't it? It's one of those weekend stag do type places. Uh, hi, Davey. I think people go to Warsaw and Prague and stuff like that for stag weekends. My stag weekend was going to be in Birmingham. Not quite the same. Well, it used to be cheaper beer, didn't it? But then they got wind of all these, you know, Brits with money going over. So everything becomes more expensive. Uh, what's the time? 10 o'clock, right? We've got to stop at midday for a pee. Otherwise, I'll start to complain. Got 382k to go. Warsaw, twinned with Warsaw. See, I don't know why they didn't do that. One slightly different now. I come from Warsaw. I'm not even going to attempt to do a Polish accent. No thanks. I will offend many people from Poland. I don't care about offending people from uh, um, Sweden or uh, Wales or Essex. I don't mind that. But I'm not offending people from the Poland place. Uh, no, you can do it. It's passed. Just it's, a, it's quite a big country. You know, there's more people in Poland I can offend than there is in Wales and Essex. It's quite motorway y. Isn't it? Which I suppose it is because it's, well, it's one long motorway that's connecting Berlin to Warsaw. Not that one, the other one, the Poland one. Uh, tomorrow, by the way, uh, back with uh, some kebab chefs uh, doing that in the multiplayers. I uh, haven't done that before. Friday night is Forza Horizon 5. Not here on Saturday because I'm in that there, London. Uh, but here on Sunday with some farming. And then back Monday, hopefully, uh, showing off the five circle line for Train Sim World 4. Uh, no, McBone, it's exactly the same as when you play ETS 2 and you drive to the UK. You're driving a left hand drive vehicle on the left hand side of the road. Easy. Or if you're one of those people that drive a right-hand drive truck in ETS2, you're on the wrong side of the truck on the wrong side of the road. 
and exactly the same as it is if you drive to France. Right, what are we? 10.35 in the morning. We're due to arrive at 3 p.m. I say we, we are expected to pee at midday. Anyone to pee? They can't go before midday. They've got to wait until midday. Uh, drove from Berlin. Imagine being able to drive to a country that drives on the other side of the road. Well, you can't really, can you? <laughs> we can get, get on a ferry, I suppose. It'd be a long ferry trip, but you can. First time for me was on a motorbike. So that's easy to get used to. Right, 299 of the miles. So yeah, it's a new coach. Uh, Double-decker comfort class. It has been out a couple of years. Uh, oh God, but new to me. You can let me out. Way no, then okay. Now I'll just pull out on that van. It's fine. I say the map releases tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure of the price. Hopefully not too expensive. Oh, I do want to indicate. Stay in that lane. Oh god, I'm one of those middle lane people now. <laughs> you need a brake? What? Brake pad? Brake disc? That's fine, we can stay here. We're slightly overtaking people. No, it's the wrong sort of break, Nico. Oh yeah, I think that's what they meant, CN. Uh, exclamation mark map uh, in chat, we'll give you a link. Oh, phone. There you go. See, look at me being all professional. I even did one for the coach as well. I know. There is a toilet on board. There you go. There are many, many, many things wrong with me. Right, 11 a.m. So I think the next P place we see, we stop at. Because we've been going since 8, so that's three hours. Although there is a P place on board. If you want to pee, you pee on the coach. I don't think I've ever done that. I don't think I've ever peed on a coach. A few times I've flown, I've never peed on a plane either. It's 
generally the not most exciting of roads, is it? The road from uh, Berlin to Warsaw. Let's pull back in. Do it professionally. Well, you I think the idea is you, you sit down when you pee on a train, but I never do because the, the state of the seat, you're like, I'm not putting my bum anywhere near that. So you try and go and steady yourself. That's why unless you really have to go, you don't use a cubicle in any sort of public toilet the americans have disposable seat covers don't they so they put you put a disposable seat cover down um on the seat and you sit on that so you're sat on a fresh surface and then i think you flush that which is a damn fine idea Oh, well, yeah, there is that. Just to lean against the wall behind you. No, they do. Yeah, disposable seat covers they have in America. We had that question on the quiz, didn't we, a few weeks ago, where um, it was like faced with urinals, you know, which one do you pick? happens to be all the time at work we've got two urinals in the gents and then two cubicles so if you go in and there's someone stood at the urinal and both cubicle doors are shut you come out again you don't stand next to someone when they're at urinal right 11.24 192 kilometers to go well yeah I I never do that at work it's like no no only at home Ooh. oh bugger I forgot to pee oops oh I have to do the next one Oh yeah, well trains have vacuum toilets. It sucks everything down into a little hole. I know I was meant to go there. Yeah, but that's why you never you never poo in public, do you? You poo before you leave the house. I'll have to go to the uh, to the next P place then. Hopefully it's not too far away because we should be stopping in for well, 25 minutes game time. Well yeah I've got to say Poland looks no different to Germany. Yeah, I never go to a toilet in a supermarket because generally, you know, I leave the house, I go shopping, I go home. I'm not normally at a supermarket long enough that I need a pee. Oh yeah, hotel, yes. We're only 157 kilometers from Warsaw. 
in about 20 minutes time game time they're gonna be starting to complain about they need a break well we haven't got any Kit Kats well yeah if you're you're out in a van all day yeah you've, you've got to go somewhere haven't you so that's where you would use a supermarket uh, yeah, we are staying in the same hotel, Michael. Well, that's the plan, anyway. Oh yeah, I'm actually having a bath. Well, I don't think. Uh, well, I'm staying in a hotel in London in July. I'm staying in a hotel in Derby for five nights. I don't know if that'll have a bath. And uh, also a secret location uh, for a certain someone's birthday. Oh, could you imagine if they did do the UK? They'd have to really roughen up the road surface, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah, will have a shower. The last time I had a bath was in Manchester in December. Right, is this a P or is this a junction? Are you a P? No, you're not a P, you're a junction. Okay. They're going to be complaining any minute now that we haven't stopped to pee. Yeah, coach is quite nice. Bit of a slow gear change, but well modelled. I said this has been out a couple of years as well. I know I can just pull over, but that would be, you know, on the hard shoulder and stuff. Can I have a pee, please, Bob? Well, that's a nice colour. It's a Volvo as well. It's supposed to be a Volvo. I do like a Volvo. Well, I, I beat someone off the traffic lights today and then realised, oh, hang on, how much I do like my car. Right. A last minute P. We don't need uh, fuel. No, loads of fuel. You need to take a... I'm taking a break. Shut up moaning, people. We're here. Look, five minutes behind schedule. That's pretty good going. Right. Into neutral. Parking brake on. Doors open. Engine off. It's loud out here, isn't it? Let me have a quick look at the settings a minute. See if I can turn down that external audio uh, ambient. Let's turn down the ambient order a little bit. There we go. I mean, no difference, but okay. Uh, right. We got to check. Uh, I'll take a break. Have a Kit Kat. Right, let's go and check everybody in then. We've got to go and zap some people. You, Elsa. You, Damien. You know, look at Damien. Um, I had a penguin this afternoon. Uh, you, Kenno. So what name is Kenno? Uh, you. Yana, uh, you, Jark, T-J-A-R-K, like to name I suppose, 
Uh, Eleanor. Eleanor Rigby. Do, 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 do. Oh, tiny person. It's Ethan when he's older. Do, 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 do. Louis. Louis, 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 Louis. Do, 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 do. And you, Bianca. I'm Bianca and I from Essex, innit? Alright, my name's Bianca. Mint penguins. I like any mint chocolate. Uh, right. Let's closey the doors. Doors are doing the closey. Is that Tony's sister? It's Bianca, innit? Alright, Bianca. Okay, into gear. Right, next stop then, Warsaw. Orange Club. You still get it. I don't think you still get it. I like the Fruit Club. That was, they were really nice. Um, how am I supposed to get out of here? Okay, that road ends. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll go across here then. I'm guessing you're, you're supposed to reverse out, not drive out. Yeah, it's fine. Another Volvo. Right, next up is Warsaw. Warsaw? Ah, Warsaw. Right, back out onto the motorway. Uh, so we are going to meet in, uh, apparently Tony is uh, is at Warsaw Airport. Fruit clubs have been discontinued. Well, that's not very good, is it? I should write and complain to Mr. Club. Is there a Warsaw salad? That's a Waldorf salad, isn't it? Always a Waldorf salad. I'm not up on my salad, surprisingly. Mr. Mc I should write to Mr. Mrs. Person, the McVitie's person. Is it Kit Kat? Well, there's something like about 200 different flavours of Kit Kat. It's, a, it's, it's certainly over 100 different flavours of Kit Kat. It's a lot. It's many of the Kit Kats. Uh, I've had raspberry Jaffa cakes. They're not bad. There were some limey ones. I want to say limey. Citrusy, sort of limey thing Jaffa cakes. It somewhat reminds me. I'll, uh, I'll do the linky thing to the sorted episode where he did the flavoured Kit Kats. Cause some, oh hello, because some of them sound uh, interesting. Oh, there you go. 300 different flavours in Japan. There you go. I thought it was over 200. How many flavours in the UK? Uh, no more than... Certainly not 10, I don't think. No, it's more than four. Yeah, the Sorted Food channel. I love Sorted Food. It's a brilliant channel. Right, we have 57 kilometres to go until we arrive in Warsaw. Well, there's an orange Kit Kat, there's a mint Kit Kat. So that's wrong. Well, yeah, uh, Poland map. Not a lot of difference to the Germany map. Orange mint, dark milk, salted caramel and others you can't think. 
I never used to like salted caramel. It's sort of growing on me now, although I'm determined to cut out chocolate. I've still got the big bar of Cadbury's dairy milk in my fridge. All the Cadbury's fingers have gone now. So my way of getting rid of stuff that's bad for me is to eat it. But it also means I've now got fat. I think I'll just let Ethan eat it all over Christmas. Christmas or Easter. Ethan, I'll just go, here you go. Yeah, you eat all that. He's going to be... Uh, He's going to be sat downstairs when we do the breakfast stream on Good Friday. So I'll just leave a big bar of chocolate by the side of him. It'll be gone at the end of the stream. Right. 34 of the kilometres to go. I don't know why I turned American then. Uh, don't forget, if you're new to the videos and the community, well, you won't want to do this because you're not an idiot. Well, you are an idiot because you're watching this. Uh, there's a couple of meetups that we're doing this year. Uh, first one being a day in Cardiff in uh, in June. We're going to go to Barry Island because Barry Island uh, and Cardiff Bay. Uh, then we're doing a, a, a day slash weekend in London in July. So a day for some people. Some of us are staying overnight and making it a Saturday, Sunday thing. Uh, and then we're doing Imber Bus the annual uh, bus trips onto the uh, onto Salisbury Plain that's in August. Uh, details are in the Discord server if you want to tag along and meet some of the people in the community. Just click that you're interested. I'll add you to the chats. All right. We're now 19 kilometres away from El Porto. Yeah, I got shirts that fitted me a few months ago that don't now, so uh, I'm actually glad I'm being dragged around London on Saturday because that'll burn off a few calories. Excellent. Uh, well, yeah, it's joys of working weekends, I suppose, isn't it? Lodnisko uh, Chopin Vitochki. Centrum National Stadium. But I can understand on the left hand side. In Centrum, those. Um, the vitamin tablets. Um, okay, that coach just crashed. Where was it going? That coach just drive into... Oh, no, it's vanished. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this thing's not the most rapid gear change. Right, go. Okay, we got to go all the way around the roundy boot. We'll stay in this lane. Light is green. We were in the correct lane. Look at that. That was almost planned. Oh, slightly speeding. Right, we are 12 of the kilometres from the uh, aeroporto. What's that say down there? Oh, that's the start stop thing. Okay. I'm guessing the key next to it. There are a few coach uh, stations. Um, I've got a feeling, though, I got a feeling um, that at some point, and it's just me thinking, that we're going to get European Coach Simulator from SCS. Because every new city in ETS2 has got a coach station in it. There's loads of bus stops. You know, why would they continue to keep putting them in if we weren't going to get some sort of, I'm in the wrong lane, if we weren't going to get some sort of coach simulator? Problem is, 
as good as this is, if that releases, uh, that'll be the end of... Uh, why am I going here? Uh, that'll be the end of Fernbus. Yeah, because there's nothing really going on with ETS-2, so that development team must be doing something. Well, I think that's why there's a push for this. Because I got contacted out of the blue going, would you be interested in promoting Poland? I'm like, oh yeah, okay. And TML haven't liked me for the last couple of years. Because I'm only a small streamer and YouTuber. Uh, come on in, police. Are you going to go? Or are you just going to try and crash into the van? Okay, now what are you doing, transit? There we go. Uh, am I going down here? Uh, I don't know. Let's try going down here. I'm sailing away. I'm going to go with round here. This is quite cool. Ice off stuff. Actually feels quite airporty, which is what you want in an airport to feel airporty. Oh yeah, in there, look. How am I supposed to get in there? Okay. Right. Hey, that went about. Hey, that definitely went about a bit of parking. I may have a new thing to teach you. Okay. Slightly scared by that. Right. So, we've arrived at uh, Walsall. I think I'll show you the map. There we go. Uh, so, we started all the way over here in Berlin. We just come all the way over to Walsall. Uh, how about we now go down to... Oh, we're about going up to Gdansk. That might be a bit of an interesting road. Should we go to Gdansk? Or do we go down to Krakow? What do we reckon? You struggled with a cheese grater. Hopefully it's Parmesan cheese. Because you only have Parmesan cheese on pasta. Oh dear. Uh, Gdansk. Up the map. Okay. So, right, we go to Gdansk. Right, so what we'll do is we'll go back to the main menu. Cheddar. Well, you can, I suppose, technically. Uh, we're going to have to start from here. We're going to have to start from here because uh, I believe... I believe I can fly. Um, Tony has arrived. I know I didn't need to do that, but I did. I didn't get my results. I don't care. Right. So we're going to go from the aeroporto up to... Uh, why did we care? Because I'm an idiot. Up to Gdansk. Uh, we keep the same coach. Eight o'clock. Right. We'll set the coach up properly this time. So you don't moan about the Wi-Fi. You've never had Parmesan cheese. So much to teach. So much to teach. Right. 
Let's uh, get these people on board. Or oh, which one of these is Tony? We'll find out. Oh god, we've got the bloody sun again. Okay. Uh, so, air conditioning on. Uh, oh god, no, not that much. 21.6. What have we got? Destination display on. Uh, driver monitor off. Passenger monitor on. Lights. Uh, reading lights. Oh, driver's light off. That's fine. Uh, don't need any of that. Over here, then, we've got the Wi Fi, kitchen clearance. Toilets and that's it, isn't it? Right, we're all good. Okay, let's go and check in passengers. Everybody ready for Tony? I think it's the guy with a tank top behind. Uh, you're going to Gdansk. We'll, we'll wait. Uh, you. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you're good. Um, are, are you Tony? You're going to burn. You're going to burn, 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 burn. Oh, he speaks German. Alf Gates. Looks quite Essex. You're going to Wilhelm Shaven. Oops, indeed. Uh, you're going to Innsbruck? No! Idiot! Okay, you're going to Gdansk, that's fine. You're going to Gdansk, that's fine. You're going to Gdansk, yep. Yeah. And you. You're going to Heilbronn. No, you're an idiot! Right. So you four are idiots. Okay. That sun's quite bright. Uh, ah, that sat down there. I reckon. I reckon that's Tony. I reckon it is. It's got to be. It's three three quarter lengths. Because only a tramp would wear those. No human being with any decency would go out in public with three quarter lengths. Um. If anybody ever turns up to meet up at three quarter lengths, they'll be left behind. Uh, right, let got your seatbelt on, or have you? Or is that just a glitch? Oh, it's a glitch. Just me stood in the screen. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome aboard the Sims and Stuff Flixbus Travel Service uh, going to Gdansk. Uh, it doesn't say on the side of the coach it's a bonus to arrive alive for reasons, uh, but trust me, it will be. In the seatbelt pocket in front of you, you'll find our next of kin card. If you kindly fill out the details of your next of kin on that card, we'll know who to contact in the event of your untimely death on this journey. If you also like to fill out any usernames, credit card numbers, PIN numbers, passwords, etc., we'll make use of those as well. For your convenience, we have already ticked the Simpsons Stuff life insurance box, and whatever you do, don't read the small print. Right. Let's go down and get ourselves uh, out of here then. Uh, right, close the door. Headlights on. Uh, so we got to stop at midday again. That's convenient, isn't it? Okay. Are we ready? We're two minutes late again. Is the Wi-Fi sorted? Yeah, we're all good. Wi-Fi's on. Everything's fine. Uh, right, into drive. Parking brake off. Hello and herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Oh, jetzt habe ich Wer meinen Kaffee verschüttet. Will, wählt sich einfach in unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. 
Can't see. Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen, kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil buchen wollt, holt euch einfach unsere App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch per E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. And now in English. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seatbelts is compulsory on board the bus. Therefore, please keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the entire Oops. journey. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our information card containing further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There is a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app onto your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Sims and Star Flixbus travel service going to Gdansk. I'll be your hostess, Tony. I'll be around shortly to serve you with some drinks and some light snacks. I'll also do a little ditty for you if you want. When I'm coming through with hot beverages, please be careful because I'm a bit of a clumsy twat and I might spill stuff on you. Uh, if you'd like to have my attention, please press the little button above your head that says hostess with the mostess. Thank you. We, we have a chime now. <laughs> Just for Tony. Right, so Tony's on board, uh, serving drinks and snacks. <laughs> He's got a xylophone. <laughs> Tell him not to smoke yet. <laughs> Don't go any anywhere near the toilet, Tony. really should leave me alone. No, you shouldn't. Tony's a one-man band. I had a very busy half an hour when I got in from work. <laughs> I do need to book a, uh, a room in the nearest mental hospital. I need something. Oh, God, I'm speeding as well. Oh, wow, that was quite nice. Right, we are leaving uh, Warsaw on our way to Gdansk. Why have I got a feeling that Tony's not going anywhere anytime soon? Well, it's the fact that he was involved in a plane crash today. I think that was the shock to everybody. And it's fact he was the only survivor as well. Bit of a miracle. I think he was smoking down the back. You always sit at the back of a plane. You never have a plane reversing into a mountain, do you? Right, 424 kilometers. We've only been through one checkpoint since we left Berlin. So was that in Germany? Or was that actually in Poland? Poland. 
don't know if it was after we crossed the border. Oh, phone's ringing. Well, that's what the reason why I don't do flight anymore. Let's get on a quick little update for you, just to let you know we've now run out of oxtail soup. We've still got some tomato left, I think it's slightly out of date. So if you want the oxtail soup, well you can't, because we haven't got any anymore. Thank you. Well, at least he's keeping the passengers updated. There's no, there's no more oxtail soup. I do like a bit of oxtail soup. I quite like that bing bong as well. See, if I was clever, what I would do is reverse that. So you have the, the announcement as the ding, 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 ding. And then after the announcement, you have the ding, 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 ding. But that's far too clever. Well, you know, I won't go ahead of myself. Right, 399 kilometers to go to, uh, where are we going? Gdansk. I just, yeah, it was the first one I listened to, and I, I tried listening to a few, and I was like, no, I, I like that one. That's a colour. Wow. <laughs> we have got albatross soup. But yeah, uh, Poland's quite a large map. So I'll give it that. And, you know, Fernbus is, is running really well I don't know who's Tony's serving to so he's only got about five passengers on board so he ain't really going to be doing a lot is he I get frustrated on a train when you see the same you know trolley person come up and down like twice in an hour long journey oh yeah you are watching Deadpool 2 Ethan and Ghostbusters. Well, not in the same day, obviously. That'd be really confusing. But yeah, liking the map, quite liking the coach. Uh, say so the coach is out uh, been out a couple of years now I don't know how much the coach was did someone check it's quite nice to have a double decker the double deckers the double deckers Eleven thirty-nine. it's not bad but it's on CD keys gentlemen quick little update for you just to let you know that the toilet's no longer working i really needed a poo and had to go in there and it's slightly clogged now so we do apologize for the inconvenience but if you need to go to the toilet you're gonna have to wait until the driver stops and we have a pee thank you <laughs> bovril oh i do like a bit of bovril uh, right, we got to stop for a pee at midday. <laughs> the toilet's now slightly clogged. I should press the button really light, shouldn't I? And disable the toilet. Well, it, look, in all fair, it, you know, good customer service. You can't knock the rating because Tony's keeping the passengers informed. So, you know, you, you can't you can't knock that, can you? You know, you want to be informed as a passenger. The toilet's not working. You know, you know you've now got to hold it for like three hours. Until we get to the P place. Is Michael not a fan of Tony? 
Oh, coming off here. Oh, God, that was a thing. Ignore that. Well, Tony Tony won't be there tomorrow night for the, for the cooking thing. Uh, he won't be there on Friday night for Forza. And I don't think we saw him on the farm. So uh, I think the next time Tony's going to be back, he's going to be Monday night uh, up in Scotland, I think, on the Five Circle line. So, you know, he's got to make his way... What the hell was that? He's got to make his way back from Gdansk. If you ever start talking like that, I'll shoot you. Can't wait for Ethan to start talking like that. I think it would suit him. Oh, brakes. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? People come into the streams and they see that going on. They're either going to be, what the hell is this guy on? And then they'll stick around. They'll follow. They'll become part of the community. And then they're one of us. People come in and go, what the hell is this guy on? They'll leave. Fine. We're a small little niche part of the community. <laughs> There's a spillage on row eight. Yeah, that seat next to me might be slightly moist now. Sense of humour is the best thing in life. Absolutely, flipping lootly. As I said, you know, when I first started doing this, I was one of those that was thinking, right, subscribers... Uh, you know, tip jars, you know, please subscribe, please follow, please like. Uh, and then realised I was turning into one of those people that I wouldn't watch my content because of all that. So, which is why I don't ask people to follow. I don't ask people to subscribe. I don't ask people to like the videos. Um, I, I never expect people to uh, subscribe on Twitch. Uh, and I feel really humbled when they do people that find the community now is because basically I don't give a damn anymore and it's the, the weird people um, that stick around exactly Connor uh, and I value my audience you wouldn't get the, the, the furry one spending a few days away with some people or doing multiple meetups and hanging about and actually socialising with people, spending, you know, a couple of days solid. Go. You're only here because you're bored. Well, fair play. Thanks, Michael. Gentlemen, just to let you know that a toilet's now unclogged. Uh, in other unrelated news, please don't ask for the meat meatloaf uh, because it's it's not meatloaf. But you can now use the toilet again. Thank you. Well, that's fine. At least the toilet's unclogged now. <laughs> just don't eat the meatloaf. Look, he's keeping everybody he's keeping everybody updated <laughs> oh god that's a corner uh right 9 34 we got to stop again <laughs> meatloaf was reserved for the driver and no it's slightly smelly meatloaf smells of yesterday's curry it's got bits of sweet corn in it i'm not interested uh, is it too early to stop for a pee? We can stop for a pee. Hang on. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll now be stopping for a pee. If anybody requires having a pee, uh, you can now do it in the toilet or you can get out and do it outside. It looks like there's a shop here as well, so have fun. Thank you. Oh. R wrong one. <laughs> I'm stopping now. Someone let a duck on board as well.
Uh, that one. Uh, that one. Right. Uh, take a break. Have a Kit Kat. <laughs> That's a... Okay. Right. Let's get back on board. Alright, Tone. V Tensel. No, you're Tony, aren't you? Is the only one sat downstairs. Yeah, toilet's working again now. Uh, right, we've already got six people on board. How's the firm bus going? Uh, it's going good. Looking good. Going good. The landing craft touched down on Mars 20 kilometers from the aim point. Uh, right, all passengers are checked. Uh, oh, down the steps. Oh, nope, if I can get down the steps. There we go. Right. You don't see Tony. He's there. On his phone. I don't know who he's messaging. Probably Derek after last night. Uh, right. Door closed. Okay. Into gear. Uh, that one. No, that's parking brake on. That one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now going non-stop to Gdansk. Our next and final stop will be Gdansk. I'll be around again shortly if anybody needs anything. But then, quite frankly, I'm getting bored doing that, so I'll probably stop then. Thank you. Right, next and final stop then is Gdansk. 264 of the kilometres away. It's only got six people to serve. Well, five people to serve to. And they're all upstairs at the back. So, you know, it's not like he's doing a lot, is he, as, as the hostess with the mostess. The hell was that? Some sort of thing. That was a sound. It was my bing bong. <laughs> You're not fast travel. You don't hear his voice anymore. Why do you think I don't drink, Michael? How do you get the trolley upstairs? Uh, there's a lift. <laughs> You've upset Tony. This is quite twisty. Yeah, I can't say, you know, I have entered Poland. But when they had the Austrian Switzerland DLC, it was all mountainous and brilliant. And I'm guessing this is what Poland's like. I've never been. Um, but, you know, it's not really exciting. But it does add more map, and we like that. I think this is similar to when um, France released. It was just the same roads, but more map. It does mean you can do really long journeys in firm bus now. Uh, it's Palenta. That's not Polish, is it? Ladies and gentlemen on board, and for those watching, I have a little quiz for you. Who's the first one to tell me how many DLCs there are in Firm Bus? If you can let me know, that'd be great. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, we're turning into a quiz now. Well, there's a the thing. I didn't think that was going to happen. Tony obviously is bored. Twenty-seven. Look at that. Straight on it. 
I'm sure Tony's Trent. <laughs> he did the quiz. Tony, I'm not, no, there is not going to be Tony the quiz host. No. Oh, that was a cut. No. No. It's a slippery slope, exactly. Oh, combine. <laughs> the Polish police, indeed. Uh, tomorrow, by the way, uh, back with some, what are we doing? Kebab chefs in multiplayer. Uh, never played it before in multiplayer. So that's either going to go really well or really badly. Uh, the latter, I think, is going to be the case. Uh, Friday night, we got some multiplayer Forza Horizon 5. Uh, one of those games we're looking for more people to join us in. Uh, not here Saturday because I've been dragged around London by an annoying purple git. Uh, but Sunday lunchtime I'll be back uh, with some farming. Uh, and then Monday I'll be here with a first look at the five circle line for Trains in World 4. Uh, more of that on Tuesday. Uh, next Wednesday is going to be potentially more of this. I think. But we'll see. Uh, next Thursday is Wreckfest. No. Something. Uh, and then next Friday is Wreckfest. Not here on Easter Saturday. Because I'm being dragged around Birmingham. Uh, but Easter Sunday will be here. Uh, and then won't be here... Uh, won't be here on the on Easter Monday. So yes, some stuff coming up. MP should be interesting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it actually because it was I only had one thing on the menu when I did kebab chefs because that's all I could cope with. Um, So it'd be interesting to try and put a couple of things on the menu because we can have one person cooking, one person like grabbing plates, doing the washing up, one person like pretty much going shopping, uh, and then one person like taking orders and stuff. So, and there is a thing in that which I, I don't think we'll set up for tomorrow, but there is a thing in kebab chefs where the people watching can be the customers. Oh, God, yeah, I know some really good curry houses in Birmingham. I could go and get another fowl. He wouldn't cope with one mouthful. There's some good kebab shops in Birmingham as well. Right, 168 kilometres to go. To... Where are we going? Gdansk. We just to let you know that we've uh, we've got no cucumber now. Uh, we had it, and then I disappeared to the toilet, and and well, we haven't got any cucumber. So anybody wanting a cucumber sandwich, you can't anymore uh, because we haven't got it anymore. Thank you. I'm not even going to ask what was going on in there. But you can't have cucumber sandwiches, basically. Oh, no, the toilet's fine. <laughs> right, 104. What the hell? I'm in that truck up there. You can't press the mute button fast enough. It's fine, Michael. He won't be back until Monday after this. He's got to make his way up to Scotland. Uh, where's that go from? Does that go from Edinburgh? Yeah, so he's got to make his way to Edinburgh. He's got a few days. It'll be fine. 
Has he disposed of it? Yeah, to check the bins. Uh, go. Edinburgh Gateway for Edinburgh Airport. Oh, God. Does that mean he's going to get on? Oh, God. <laughs> no, he won't be in London. I can't do it if people... I mean, he won't appear if people are looking at him. breaks performance anxiety exactly we've all been there Gdansk is straight on that's useful because that's where we're going if you're new to the streams by the way uh, it's your first time watching they're all like this this isn't just because it's firm bus uh, they're all like this so if you're slightly deranged uh, then, uh, well, stick around. Do the whole followy thing. Which I don't normally say. But uh, we're an odd bunch. Uh, but it really is a genuinely awesome community. Uh, yes, I did do an exclamation mark coach as well. I set that up today. I did the ding dong. I did the map. I did the coach. I did the game. All while my pizza was cooking. And then I was watching a video on the M25 being shot. Go. Are we going to arrive ahead of schedule? What time are we due? Oh yeah, we, we're due at 13.15. Uh, it's 11.08. We've got 100 kilometres to go. I am broken. I am very broken. I was more productive in the hour after I left work than I was for the whole, what, nine and a half hours I was at work. 13, 15, a good year. That's when Ed was born. All those bales need connecting. Oh, brakes. Breaks, 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 breaks. The only thing with this coach, which is the same as all modern vehicles, I suppose, you can't really hear the engine. Uh, when I do this again, I will tweak the road noise down a bit. Because you can change the audio a bit in this, which is quite good. Well, I think it's just a copy and paste in it on the roads. Shame, really. Because, yeah, they put a bit of work into the uh, scenery and the, the stuff around. Well, exactly, the engine's at the back. I think the last coach I drove, the engine wasn't. Hang on, no, it might have been. No, the manual coach I drove it wasn't. I'm sure it wasn't. Yeah. Leyland something or other. Leopard? Tiger? One of those. Let's tell we'll be shortly be arriving at Gdansk. Everybody's got to get off here because, they're not, well, we're not going any further. So if you're going to stay on the coach, you're going to be falling asleep with me. 
isn't necessarily a bad thing, I suppose. I'll be leaving you here, Gadan, because I've got my way back to Edinburgh ready for Monday. And I've lost my passport somewhere, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. Enjoy the rest of your journey. I'll catch you on Monday. Goodbye. Well, Derek's got to go in... Derek? Uh, Tony's got to go in search of a passport now. It gets worse. 49 kilometres to go. And Tony leaves us to... I'm guessing there's an airport at Gdansk. Oh, Tony has really taken a form all of his own. The other night, I don't know... I wasn't... I wasn't planning any of that the other night and I, I almost want to edit that video and just put the Tony section out on YouTube just to see how many deranged people there are out there. Because that whole story, just at each stop, just escalated and I didn't plan it. I, uh, I basically just left the station and then just spoke. That's how my mind works. As those of you that have spent any time with me will know. Uh, yeah, the editing bits. It's just having the time to do it. That's the problem. I don't get time in the evenings because of doing this. I'm out all day Saturday. It's Tony's surname Humphreys. I don't know what his surname is. It took us long enough to find out what his first name was. I did have a, a weird idea yesterday. I thought, well, if this was a big enough channel that I could do reviews of things, which I then went off on a, a tangent and thought about doing something really random. I don't know if it would work. And my setup isn't geared up for it anyway, before you ask. I just thought it'd be quite amusing from a voiceover point of view to have Tony do a review of something. You know, one of those top-down camera sort of reviews of a of a thing I just think that could be quite amusing you know, an unboxing of a I don't know a set of headphones or a, 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 a something I just think it would be quite funny but I haven't got the setup for it I haven't got the whole top down camera situation thing but yeah that was my thought in my head I thought I was thinking what else could Tony do But yeah, it'd have to be short form, I think. Unboxing a Tony. Well, Christmas. That was a train. All right, straight on here. We have made it to Gdansk. looking quite nice <laughs> where's the unsubscribe button yeah but you love me too much Michael you wouldn't do that transit I do like a transit We could be waiting a while at these lights. <laughs> you keep things very light and bouncy. I'm not saying anything. I actually quite like the fact this has got a, a slow gear change.
Oh, he's off to Manchester, is he? Well, he's, he said he's got to get to Edinburgh. See, this is where if I was doing a flight sim, it would be quite amusing to do a flight from uh, Gdansk to... Wow. Uh, Gdansk to Edinburgh. Oh, Vecco. Um, stay there. Yeah, the airport isn't in this either. I used to like that guy, uh, Big Jet TV, when there was the two of them before he got so big I think that happens to a lot of people uh, when it was just him and he was working and the other guy was there and he had the roof rack on the top of his car at first um, it was really enjoyable uh, now it's all about the super chats and the, the regulars in chat um, which I think is why there's more people doing that same sort of thing now it's, it's not just him um, and he's got a bit well big headed I think wonder who else that reminds us of. Hmm. A certain Twitch streamer, by chance. One that does simulation games. Used to do, used to do trucking on a certain night of the week, but then banned everybody talking about it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just can't put a finger on it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now arriving at Gdansk. Just a final reminder to say, if you can get off here, that'd be great. Thank you. Oh, matron. Oh, Jesus. Okay, right, but this isn't going to go well, is it? You going to let me out, fix boss? Thank you. Blimey, that's dangerous, isn't it? Uh, where the heck am I going? Oh, it's raining. Over there. Am I supposed to get over there? Hang on, we're going to have to do it. Hang on, bear with me. Oh, God. Uh, it's about... You're going to you're going to puke. I'm not surprised, really, because I sort of hit that canopy. Uh, ignore a slight dent in the top of the thing. We're already there. Yeah, uh, part of the white woman's thrown up. Right. That's definitely a bit rainy. Right, we've arrived in Gdansk. Oh, blimey. Uh, okay. Hang on. Let's, let's finish this route, shall we? There we go. We will do the leaderboard of shame at the end. Right, we're going to find the next nearest town to uh, Gdansk. And we'll do one more little journey. Are you doing anything game or, or what? Are you just going to sit there and give... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I love this game. Uh, right. Yeah, I didn't want to do it that way. Uh, right. So, Gdansk. Oh, that's going to take us back. Let's go over here. Cozy Kozalin, that place. Right, same coach. We'll change the time actually, so we don't get so much. So there we go. Uh, no, Tony's got off. <laughs> He's got to find his way to the airport. 
Tony has left the building. <laughs> Thank God for that. Michael doesn't. Michael's not a fan of Tony. All right, we're here again. It stopped raining. Excuse me. I've got to try and get to the. You done? Okay, can I close me? Thank you. Right, let's go and set this thing up. Uh, right. Oh, no, that one. Okay, so... Air conditioning on. Leave it at that. Uh, reading light on. Oh, seeing lights on. That one doesn't work. Passenger monitor on. Drive monitor off. Destination display on. Over that side. That, 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 that. Oh, I didn't do... No, I've done the air conditioning. No, we're all good. They're great. Right. Okay, let's check the weirdos in then. You. So, you I want to see your ticket. Well, if you want. Uh, I'm going to the right place. You. No, you stupid cow. I'm not going there. You. Yeah. You're good. You. Well, I don't want to, no, I wasn't talking to you, was I? Shut up. Yeah, I was trying to talk to you here. Yep, okay. Yep, yep, you're good. You? Yep, yep, you want to buy a ticket, didn't you? Yeah, yep, yep, okay. Uh, okay, do that. Alf, I'm not Alf Gates, but okay. You? Yeah, you're good. Uh, oh, you want to buy a bloody ticket, didn't you? Yeah, all right. You've got a phone in your hand. You're on the app. I've forgotten where we're going. Uh, that one. It's written over there as well. Yeah, okay. You? Yeah, get on. You? Oh, sorry. You? Yeah, get on. And before they went to Unreal, the passengers used to get on the coach as well, like they do in tourist bus. They switched to Unreal, it stopped working, and so they disabled it. If it works in tourist bus, why can't it work in this? Uh, right, we've got more people upstairs. We're going to do upstairs. Oh, hello. Uh, right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and you. Uh, welcome aboard this Sims and stuff. Flix bus travel service going to the place I can't pronounce. Kozlalitin thing. That place. Uh, in the, hang on, wrong thing. Uh, in a seat back pocket in front of you, you'll find our next of kin card. If you kindly fill out the details of your next of kin on that card, we'll know who to contact in the event of your untimely death on this journey. If you also like to uh, fill out any usernames, credit card numbers, PIN numbers, passwords, etc., we'll make use of those as well. For your convenience, we have already ticked the Simpsons stuff life insurance box, and whatever you do, don't read the small print. Okay, nope. That one. There we go. Right, that's that done. What is that? I thought we could open the moon roof for a second. Uh, right, let's uh, let's go back down here then. Set ourselves down. Start ride. Right, we haven't got to take a break this time. So, no Kit Kats will be consumed. Okay. Into gear. Release the thing. And for the final time tonight then... Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos surfen Do I like the game? Uh, I've got 400 hours in it, so yeah. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. 
Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen, kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil buchen wollt, lasst euch einfach unsere App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch per E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. And now in English. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seat belts is compulsory on board the bus. Therefore, please keep your seat belt fastened throughout the entire journey. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our information card containing further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There is a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets, which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app onto your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. Uh, what do you mean this bing bong? Hang on. Uh... I just loved it as soon as I, I pressed it. Don't worry, Tony's not on board. He's left Gdansk. Well, he's not left Gdansk. He's on his way to the airport. Uh, right. The final uh, final leg for tonight then. Going to a place I can't pronounce. Kozalin. <laughs> Next stop's Newcastle. Why, I pet? Up the tune. Flies the 8, 10 a.m. to Manchester. Oh, gosh, he's got a night out in Gdansk. With no passport and no clothes. To be honest, I think he, he's pocketed the money that he earned. He's got one of those personal card reader things. So people were paying for the, the soup and the uh, the sandwiches. But, you know, the money is going straight in his bank account. to the airport for 12 hours. I spent seven hours at um, Belfast Airport once. That was depressing because there's sod all there. Is this the best bus sim? Uh, nope. Sure you asked that earlier. Omzi. Yeah, watch out, Gdansk. <laughs> Tony's out in town. It's actually been quite nice getting back into firm bus and uh, I do like unlocking the new cities so yeah if we do do this next Wednesday we'll carry on unlocking some more maybe try one of the other coaches watch out Tony's about watch out Tony's about because you better watch out because Tony's about he died didn't he Anyway, uh, right, we haven't got to stop for a pee this time. The Voyager Bing Bong's annoying. Well, you're annoying.
he did have a bad hand, but he had one hand smaller than the other. He liked a polo, the mint with the holo. There are wind turbines. They require on things being wind. They require on things. No, they require things. Can you repeat? Well, toy, that's fine now. You can pee as much as you like. Just try not to pee on the floor. Like this coach for a DLC if you do a lot of long journeys it's another double decker makes it slightly more interesting I have always said though that you don't really need the coach DLCs for firm bus I think the standard MAN Lions coach is really really good um, and that's all you need I never get overly excited by the coaches in this uh, because I like unlocking the cities I think it's more about the driving than the vehicle. Whereas things like train sim, etc., it's all about the vehicle, not the driving. You're going to love it, Michael. I'm making sure Ethan stays, you know, like three feet away from you for the whole weekend. It can be your personal tour guide. You'll love it. Well, that's a view as views go. guessing Ethan's sodded off to play Train Sim World now. Right, 148 kilometres to go. Well, why didn't you respond then? Ding back. What was the question? So you weren't listening? You weren't here. <sighs> if someone would like to replace Ethan as a moderator, uh, please do let me know. <laughs> to make sure I might replace Ethan, yeah. I think you need a moderator of you, because we got like three moderators that watch the streams. The other ones don't bother. Uh, I don't know what it was you just tried to post there, but I didn't like it. You can't post links. The only one that's always here is Trent. It's because he's got no life. go you want to ban Peter from discord it's actually not a bad run it's all obviously motorway I don't think there's any country roads or twisty roads in these So yeah, if you do want to explore Poland, it's all going to be roads like this. But not bad. So we will be going through the leaderboard of shame at the end of this. So if you are friends with me on Steam and you have this game, you will be shamed. Unless you're higher up the rankings than me, then you'll be ignored. Tiny, tiny trend. Well, you'll you'll see in uh, in July, CN. I've got small roads on. Wrong game. 
That's ETS 2. That's uh, when's that back? Not next week, week after. In a Peter K style. Not next week, week after. Garlic bread. Well, last time we saw it, no. New Year's Eve, wasn't it, when Trent came here? He looked like someone that was homeless. Yeah, we saw him in February. He looked a completely different person. I think I need to get Trent to teach Ethan how to shave. Yeah, just ignore the fact I've got this cutthroat razor, says Trent. Or Steve, I can do it. I have to teach him how to use a comb. He'd never used a comb before. I think that just sums it up. Never used a tin opener. He never used a bottle opener. Shall I go on? We won't say what today's revelation was. Yeah, but Ethan gets out of the shower or out of the bath and then just dries his hair and that's it. Doesn't brush it, doesn't comb it. So he never used a comb. Or today a cheese grater. It's great. It's like I'm, I'm teaching a, a human being life. He doesn't use a hairdryer. I can't wait to take him swimming to get his hair completely wet. I think he'll just freak out. I don't think I've even got... Have I got a cheese grater? I don't think I've... Actually, no, I have got a cheese grater. I've never used it. It's in this plastic wrapping thing. I bought a cheese grater thinking, oh, I'll use some cheese. How does he go for bath time? He doesn't always wash his hair. He can he cannot wash his hair in the shower. And I'm sure he doesn't get his hair wet in the shower. He only washes his hair a couple of times a week. Which is right. You shouldn't wash your hair every day. It doesn't do any good. I do. why I have no hair. No, I'm blaming all the years of being a motorcyclist and having a crash on me to rub against the top of my head. Once you're at 25, see, it's all downhill. Oh, yeah, d tell me about it. The stress. It, there, there's a weekly argument and falling out between me and Ethan. And it's normally every Tuesday or Wednesday. If we were married, they'd be divorced by now, I think. nice new bit of tarmac all right we've got 26 kilometers to go until we arrived at this place so we'll stay here behind this truck yeah 
we'll, we'll see how things are after the eight days at the end of May. If Ethan's no longer in the community after that, you know why. Alright, coming off here. It's been a really enjoyable trip. I was just getting into the zone then. You know, sometimes you just get relaxed on a motorway. I've had it a couple of times coming back from London. Cruise control on, music on, or a podcast or something, and you just relax and you get in the zone. The amount of times I've got to the Swindon turn off and gone, oh, I can really just carry on now. Does Ethan's mum pay me? I think at first, Ethan's mum sort of missed him a bit. Um, I think now she's probably quite glad that he's out of the way. Onwards to Cardiff. Well, yeah, I don't think I'm back there till June. Well, she's letting him go away in May. If I was her, I'd be booking to go on holiday that same week. A week on her own. Go and do what she wants. Okay, left at the roundabout. Indicated way too early for that, but oh well. Then I've entered this roundabout of speed, didn't I? Alright, where are we going? Down here somewhere. I can't say I'm overly blown away by the map. I don't think it's anything fantastic compared to the other maps we've got in Fernbus, but it adds a lot more map so you know it's good from that point of view oh yeah it's not a bigger coaches in we have to go back and do some more tourist bus at some point We have arrived in this place. Wherever this place is. Kozalin. Right. Let's log out then. Swindon. Yeah. Well, currently. Right, the leaderboard of shame. When the menu loads. If the menu loads. <coughs> right. So, my ranking, 767 in the world. Top 100, never going to get there. My friends then, only person in front of me is Alan at uh, position 189. Blimey. Uh, I'm at 767. Ed uh, behind me now at 825. Uh, Orange Boy at 2607. Amy Lou at 3025. Ethan uh, at 3626. It's Katie uh, at 6317. Chris Brown at 8226. Don Rado at 8,354. Trent at 12,860. Larwood at 25,434. Michael at 27,240. Harry uh, at 32,801. Unwell at uh, 123,536. Liam at 161,404. And taken 
192,601. Taken has only played this once. Liam, twice maybe. Unwell, three or four times. Harry, not very much. I've got 400 hours in this and I'm at 118,000. That's not a lot of time for these people down here. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we will do more of uh, Poland next time. Uh, continuing uh, to explore. Uh, it does add a bit of the map. So we've done all this over here. So we've got to go uh, or maybe down to here or maybe we go back across and be Ali stock and down to here. So there are a few uh, bits. Uh, haven't got Denmark and no plans to get Denmark. Um, I think the UK would be good for this. Spain would be good as well, I think. There we go. Uh, so there we go. Um, we will end there. Uh, more of this potentially back next Wednesday, uh, where we will see Tony, I'm sure. We'll see if we can get him back over to Poland again. Uh, we'll see if he can get there after Tuesday. Uh, Tony will be making a return on Monday up in Scotland. Uh, where he'll join us at the airport, I'm sure. Uh, so there we go. Tomorrow night, though, uh, back with some multiplayer kebab chefs. Uh, that's going to be tomorrow. That's going to be a bit of fun. Friday night, some multiplayer Forza Horizon 5. So not here Saturday, because uh, I've been dragged around London by uh, an Ethan. Uh, but we'll be here Sunday lunchtime on the farm. And then Monday night for Five Circle Line and Tuesday uh, and some more stuff next week. Full streaming schedule is in the Discord server. Don't forget, if you're interested in joining us for some of the meetups, uh, details of those are in the top of the Discord as well. So thanks to you lot in chat for keeping me company for the last two and a bit hours. Uh, thanks to Tony uh, for joining us uh, earlier as well. Uh, and to KM uh, for following me uh, earlier on. And the moderators for doing, well, absolutely nothing. Uh, I will be back then uh, tomorrow night to do some kebab type chefing, chefing kebab things. Until then, if you have been, thank you very, very much for watching. <laughs>